experience of The Void. Hi, I'm Christina. Welcome to The Void. In tonight's episode, I thought I would share with you a few festival memories. And the one loud guy was just like, rock and blah, 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 right? Look at me! I like stuff! <laughs> Unexpected kind of festival memories uh, with artists that I think really not only lived up to how awesome their music is, but sort of were better, which is really special. You know that whole not, don't meet your heroes thing? Well, you, met that, you meet these guys and you're like, oh wow, like your whole soul is in your music. So first of all, we have a profound festival touring tip from the one and only Matt Pike of Sleep and High on Fire. If a little tiger like massages my legs, makes my toenails black, then I feel like Nathan an explosion from Death Clock. You like to see the sensitive metal guy, right? <laughs> Everybody loves that, don't they? I'm like Secretariat of Metal. <laughs> So that's on the number one touring tip, get a pedicure before you go and then you don't have to even worry about your toenails. You don't have to fucking touch them. See, this is, this is a professional, so this is learn from the, learn from the best. Time, bro, one day, I know I'm going to be so crazy that like I can't even talk anymore, but I can fucking fly. It's these little things that make festivals a possible thing. And I got to spend four East Coast tours being the only camera crew backstage, so I got to you know, weave in and out and spend some time, which was really fun. Um, next up, we have uh, someone really special, Devin Townsend. Um, this interview was, was filmed at the end of the craziest show day of the whole tour. Sydney was always nuts. And I think we both got to it and I just went, I can't even question anymore. He's like, I can't answer. So we just kind of hung out. And here is his take on the reality of being on a festival tour. But there's just a lot of people and it's like this weird high school click. And I was talking to some buddies of mine in another band and they're, they're about my age and I'm like, I really like them. They're good people, right? Like straight up, I like them, right? And they said they got onto the bus yesterday and they were just like, they felt like they were like the uncool kids that couldn't find a place to sit because all the buses are full of these bands and everybody's got like, sunglasses on and like like these crazy tattoos and like and the one loud guy was like rock and blah 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 right look at me i like stuff right and so and then we're all we're just like you know i'm, I'm under the bag of marbles in my fucking smelly suit and i'm just like i just don't want it's just like the social element of it i feel like i'm in school again that's i think the experience for a lot of people especially heavy music kind of festivals um one other moment kind of struck struck me because he's a really cerebral human being. He's another uh, character on this channel that has been um, sort of really lovingly watched. If you check out our full chat, um, the comment section will re restore your faith in humanity, undeniably. Um, so here's a moment with Devin where nature intervened. Because everybody's looking for answers and there's none, right? And it's like, you know, like... Oh my God. Okay, Maybe. thunder just cracked over nice. us, so apparently we're getting some answers. Must be Marilyn Manson. <laughs> <laughs> or his mother calling. When I met Dave Brocky, better known to the world as Odorous Arungus of Gua, I definitely indulged him in um, his ridiculousness. In fact, um, before I show you these moments, I have to say that the saddest thing in my entire fucking career was the fact that on this tour, which happened about a month and a half before we lost that goddamn amazing lizard, was we were meant to be on a golf buggy, going around backstage, terrorizing other bands. And the fact that we didn't get to do that and capture that on film is one of my like saddest things. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. So anyway, so Dave kind of veers from fight the power. I stand in solidarity with the revolutionaries of the world. I'm dedicated to the destruction of the multinational Globo Corporation. I'm into bands like MDC, millions of dead cops, you know? to a uh, Shakespeare lover. Can I give you a quick quote from Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? You've made worms meat of me! Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second act is great, the end of the first act is a little long. And then lowers the tone to something lewd. I have been like having sex with Henry Rollins lately and he has got me, I just want to let you guys know, he's got me ripped. I am cut like a fuck. Look at that shit. Uh, uh, uh. 50 million years old. 50 million? It's still. You still got it. Uh, an elephant. So, yeah, I, um, yeah, I give you three moments with uh, three really special artists, which you can watch more of on this channel.
um, yeah, may your day be most triumphant. This is an experience of the void.